Hey everyone, Brian Chess99 here and welcome back to a new video. And this time we are returning to our top 8 player tourney. My previous map matches went pretty good. I I am so far un undefeated in the top 8 player tournament, but this time we are up against Lokesh. And as we all know, Lokesh is probably top 1 at the moment, but we'll see if we can um we'll see if we can be some NG versus NG with a with a bit of swindling. Okay, so I was pretty shocked when I saw NG because usually on offside he is a heli firm ice nerd. He is a really big heli firm ice nerd on this map, but he probably thought I he probably thought I was gonna go heli firm ice because most of my replays have been on offside heli firm ice versus NG because I wanted to prove versus a certain player cough cough the real Jesus that heli firm ice is is meta on offside. The only problem is it's really easy to choke, and bro, I so wish Locus would have gone Heli Farm Ice on this map because I had the perfect choke rush planned. On 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 round thirteen, I was gonna send Camo Rigor Rainbows with like Rigor Rainbows, and he was gonna die. But anyway, guys, it's it's offside. So it's NG versus NG. We will take what we can get. Now, I did mess up my start a bit because I went for a 1-0 NG because before I went for a 1-0 farm. Which means I was $60 short, which is why I missed out on a plantation at the start of round 5, so I got 60 less cash. 60 less dollars plus that $60, so I'm like $120 down that I should not be. But that's all good because Lokesh has this pretty stupid NG spot. Um, yeah, his NG spot is pretty stupid because it's NG versus NG. I suppose it it might be good for leads, but eh, I prefer mine honestly. So we are gonna go for a second farm up at up at the top, and upgrade to a more bananas. Okay, so some interesting things have been happening at the moment. Equal farms. We have exactly sixty nine mod one hundred eco. Not anymore, but it was fun while it lasted, wasn't it? So we bloom boost yellows here, try to force a boost. He probably didn't have to boost that, but he panic boosted, I guess, and he was leaking lives. Now we will, of course, boost this. Um, micro my NG to strong to first. Now strong and first is the most optimal way to afford leaking lives, because if your NG is always on first, then you are gonna chase. It's gonna layer hard, and it's gonna be pretty bad news for you. But strong first it slows down all blooms, and you also have a boost too, so it's pretty good. Now my engineer did not touch the track, so I have no idea why it's spit and foam on the track, but it's it works for me, I guess. I think when you upgrade to, to those three upgrades instantly. Now, as you can see, my engineer monkey is doing a very good job at cleaning up these leads. Okay, so we both boost here. We have more ego though. Um, his NG spots aren't that good, which is why he's leaked more than me, and he's had to use a few more spikes. We still have all three spikes, which is pretty good, because mid-game, one spike can take down three balloons, usually, and four balloons, if... It can, it can, it can take down four balloons if the track is directly vertical, which on offside, is, uh, it's not really applicable. It is not really applicable on offside. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this is what we are. This is what we are gonna go. And well, we have more eco. We have everything more than him right now. So my my plan at the moment is to just bank up. But he starts sending us some white, and and then I'm like, okay, that is just free bloom trap money. There are there. Are, are some zebras and pinks too, but he layered them incorrectly. He he layered them incorrectly. To make the balloon trap spasm, which is basically when it fills up really fast and then there's like a three second delay before it spawns, you have to you have to fill it up a lot, which means you have to send zebras, whites and pinks won't do. So I send him a bunch of leads and zebras, and I I know how engineer trap works. So we were able to have that bloom trap 3 second spasm. 
That's what I like to call this anyway. It's a term that I just made up right now. Balloon trap spasm. Um, one rush, one rush that is guaranteed to cause it to spasm is five five rainbows plus zebras and lots of balloons will go past. But of course, it's a it's a very expensive rush. And also leads work too because leads just layer in perfectly. Okay, so he's sent me some rush once again. He has layered in. He has layered. Not so bad layering, since as you can see, my balloon trap took a while before spawning, but he never sent stuff after it. So like, once my balloon trap started spasming him, he stopped sending, which is, um, I suppose there is lag on his screen, but he should know better. Anyway, we are out farming. His ego is slightly more than mine, but he also has no boost left. We have one boost, which is pretty significant late game. Also, for BFB's round 20, he is not going to be able to to greed that much. And the round 20 is is a, is a coming up right now. So he is going to be in big trouble. Because he has no boost. So, of course, he cannot go for his BIA. And I don't think, think he will send me one, because even if he doesn't go for his BIA here, um, he, he is probably going to struggle. So he does this really interesting play that I've never thought of. He spams some helis and just to avoid uh, to avoid going for a razor rotors instead, he just goes for it for a second balloon trap. I think one lead might have snuck through, but he didn't really leak that many lives, so So it's safe to say that no leads did sneak through. So so he's gone for two balloon traps, however, we now have a BIA. But he only has a he only has a measly bank and and the bank does not do much. A bank does not do much indeed. Okay. So what is happening here is that we are out farming basically. He prob his eco is probably around six hundred and and ninety, probably like one hundred more eco. Or does he? I don't know. I mean well not anymore, since he just sent me a BFB. Round 22, he probably thought that I was going to go for a factory, which is fair, I guess. Um, there are some camo leads, so I have to go for our rotors. Even though we have... How many balloon traps do we have? Even though we have two balloon traps still. But I should be able to get away from this non... Without having to boost. And it looks really scary, and I... Don't want to choke when I'm in a winning position, but still, it works. And then I sell all of my defenses. Eco is probably only only around 500 now because he sent me a BFB, plus he upgraded to to a bank laser than I did. So yeah, we have a factory. He he does not have a factory. We have a boost. He does not have a boost. So there is that. Um, I am hesitant to farm here. Because he might opt to, sit to um, send me an another BFB. Heli NG versus Heli NG. Uh, so my god is absolutely never worth it. But but there is some 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 merits for a BFB, I guess. So once again, we upgrade to our rotors. I think it hurts him more because because even though I have to upgrade to a lot of defense. I only lose twenty percent, but with the BFB, that's minus a hundred ego, which is which is like. Um, hold on. Where, where is my calculator? Chat. One two five times two times ten. One hundred ego is twenty five hundred. So, a BFB cost five thousand. Hmm. Ego is not really that impactful when you have a factory, though. But still, I just sent him a BFB anyway because. Um, just in case if, if my calculations are off, I want to try to, um, I want to try and make things even. So at the end of this round, I'm thinking of selling my BIA for a factory. Sorry, I, I had to burp. Okay, there we go. I just drank some juice, so yeah. And uh, and I sold my BIA too early, so I missed out on a lot of money, but it's fine. And we are, we have like we are out farming. Even though it doesn't look like we're out farming, we have three traps and one extra heli. And yeah, three traps will make us m m money in the future. 
And he's going to have to upgrade to three traps if, if, eventually. We also have one boost, which is huge, because if he all outs us, one boost is enough to, um, to defend 10 Summer Gods round 32, but he's obviously dead because he has no boost. So, there is that, I guess. Um, round 27, one downdraft might not be enough, but... I just copy him since if I'm dead, then he is died. Too. Then he is dead too. Okay. So, farmer. And I go for my facility here. So now I have five factories, I'm obviously out farming, plus one boost. And we have more Eco since he sent me like 10 BFBs round 24 for some reason. Anyway, Eco is pretty much irrelevant, so it's probably even. So the only big thing here is a boost. Um, I'm still not sure whether to go for an Apache or not, but I do send some camo leads at the wrong timing. The reason why it's the wrong timing is you want to is that you want to send uh, camo leads when a Moab balloon passes passes by it, because Moab's BFB so my God's clean cleansing foam away, like like when a Moab hits a cleansing foam, there is no more foam. There's no more of that white stuff. So he's not sending camo leads. By the way, that is the AI, and it looks like I'm gonna die here. So I go for an Apache. I, I think he had to sell a farm for some reason. Um, but yeah, he, he kind of choked there. Um, I was hesitant to keep farming here because he's, he's obviously saving money for a rush. So he starts all out of me, round 31, which is strange because I know that I can defend round 32. So how many, oh my gods are that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, there are 13 COMGs on the screen, but it's, but 5 of them were round 31 buffed, which is basically the exact same as round 30, and round 32, they're strong, but they are not that strong. And we have a boost too, and we also have overclock, which is basically overclock plus boost is basically overclock plus boost on one heli is basically the same as having three helis. So it looks like I have eight Apaches, but in reality I have twenty four Apaches, and for some reason this gets pretty far since of my heli targeting. Why is my heli t why is my heli targeting so bad? But anyway. I am not sure which helis are, are overclocked and which are not, and all of my overclocks run out. And he, and he starts sending me Rigro Rainbows too, which is, uh, I don't know why to be honest. But I look like I'm about to die, but I do clutch up in the Gulag, and we beat Lokesh. So, of course, offside is only worth 0 0.5 points for some reason, but we will take it. So, after two, after... Two games of me choking pretty hard to like AI. One game I I, I died to AI. Second game I died to a BSB. Even though I had two rotor shards plus downdraft, since he started sending me camelettes, but I'm gonna leave those games out because they are boring. They are really boring. Okay, so now we are um we are going to try. Cobra, because I thought he was going to go heli. He obviously thought I was going to go heli too. So, it is basically, we thought, we thought we were countering each other. But it turns out we did not indeed counter each other. I still think heli farm glue beats Cobra. But it's a lot closer than what most people would think. Because even though, if... You, if if you, if you defend round round twenty five, Cobra still has a pretty good chance late game because I have seen some people defend f six fast fast cooldowns. Oh my God, round thirty two with boat farm mortar, and what you do is just is just micro mob assassins and mortar stall and, and then just misdirect. Pretty pretty easy, pretty easy. So yeah. 
that is that and as you can see I am just BMing him BMing him for some reason because we both th we both thought we could counter each other so I'm guessing he has bomb because otherwise he would have gone for attack he's not eco and his eco is still like 250 <laughs> but I am I am indeed eco win um, hold on and then um, there are some onions that I'm eating. It's, it's not onions actually, it's lettuce. Okay. Anyway, I started I, I started just in him to force a, to force a single flare, which is pretty costly. Then we immediately sell it, which is probably annoying for him. So he starts sending me yellows, which is pretty stupid, I think. It 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 seems pretty stupid for me to to send him yellows because he just goes for uh for like bigger blasts and of course the mortar boss on this map is OP and he and he's just fine to that. So I start crying because that rush did nothing and I could have spent spent more money attrition on him. So w w what I want to do now is start sending him some some choke rushes because we just lose late game tuck just sucks late game so we have to send him some some stuff of course we have to upgrade to mortar and i'm just trying to make him choke here please choke because he doesn't have a bomb up yet he he needs a cluster and he needs a cluster otherwise i am just gonna start attrition on him also placing your mortar back isn't isn't, isn't the smartest idea um Lokesh is pretty smart though um, what does what does Lukash study? He studies computer science. He is like in third year right now. Well, he is going into third year. He is like one year above me because I was doing some C plus plus and he offered to help one time. He, he he is a pretty nice guy. Um, but then we started trusting him because in BTD in BTD there is no nice guys. It's it's a war all the way. So he starts bloom boosting some stuff. I don't know what he's bloom boosting honestly. What are you bloom boosting, buddy? Oh, he's been boosting camo yellows? Bruh, I just spiked that. <coughs> As we all know, those camo yellows are getting completely destroyed by my red hot road spikes. So anyway, I force a boost here. And what I do now, well, what I should have done next was all out him. Because there's no way he can afford mortar stall. He only has five lives. So what I should have done was send regrow rainbows and then camo pinks but for some reason i don't all out him look like he's on one life and it looks like he has died like 20 times but i guess that's just screen lag so what i should have done let me reiterate again is all out him by sending regra rainbows and then camo pinks because th those two mortars will of course hit their ps cap because the mortar ps cap is 40. and those those um those double taps will pop the rainbows into some balloons and of course that 40 balloon cap would have been hit i think though realistically bomb should always win against tack because adjustment tack has the maelstrom and yeah i don't really have any hope now i don't really have any hope now so let me just fast forward a bit so round 33 he starts sending me so my gods and of course, if I send him one, he can just spam the spam the bomb ability and misdirect. Now I do have four misdirections up, but with tack farm mortar, it is it is pretty much impossible to pop the COMG layer. Like I have millstrammed it like a thousand times, and nothing is popping, and we die to the AI. Unfortunate, but well played, Lokesh. So, the next series I played was against TRJ, and it is going to be a, and, it, and it is going to be a very interesting one. So, Lokesh beat me 3-1. Lokesh hasn't lost yet, actually. Lokesh has beaten everyone. But I have beaten everyone too, apart from, apart from Lokesh. So, I will get second prize, consolation prize. 
Of course, we get the starter map offside, and for some reason, TRG is sending me reds against NG versus NG, which is a bit strange to me. Because NG versus NG early game, you you kind of want to play passive if it doesn't force a boost or some defense. And even though he forced some defense, that is not going to do that much, especially when he's going to have to upgrade to his two. There's two options here. He, he could e either go for a faster engineering or he could go for um, for a zero zero ng which is what he does by the way is it called faster engineering or faster firing I've, I've i've often wondered so let me just check here um the engineer monkey powers and towers bruh i actually compressed it okay it is called fast engineering okay sentry gun fast engineering and of course nine inch nails okay so where are we in the game okay so he is greeting it, it is a bit strange how he went for 0 0 NG if he wasn't going to use the Brian Chess 99 trick on us. Because now, with his fast engineering upgrades, those sentries are, are actually uh, going to take a while to spawn. So, they do spawn eventually, but at the cost of 49 lives. And because we went for our fast engineering before him, in fact, we went for it round 1. That means we have a lot more money. Okay. Round 7. Um, we double plant, which is pretty phenomenal. He has sold an NG there, which is pretty bad news for him. Because I'm going to rush him with yellows. <coughs> so we have equal farms. He has slightly less eco now that I'm sending yellows. He, he goes for a sprockets, but I bloom boost this some more since... I, I am certain that that won't be enough. You need a sprockets and a 9-incher. So he also s sends me some yellows. I place my NG at the top so it sees the track. If my NG at the top does not see the track, then it's going to mess up against leads. So I start sending him some leads here. Like this. And then I go for my cleansing foam. Now his sprockets isn't in a good spot, which means he will struggle more to... He will struggle more against leads than I will because the sentries aren't really popping the AI at the t top, whereas all of my towers are at the start of the map in front of my sentries. So I bleem boost some whites at him, trying to force a boost on his side. He goes for two sprockets, but one of the sprockets does not have any sentries on, which is why he's going to have to boost anyway. But he boosts extremely late. And now he is trying to force a boost on my side. Which, I'll happily oblige. But I won't boost as late as he does, because otherwise I'm going to lose all my lives. So I I bloom boost some zebras here to force a farm cell. In fact, we force every single farm cell. And he is forced to go for a bloom jitsu. Now, I can't even afford a trap here, but I am pretty close if he chooses to rush me. But he... he does not he, he has a republic now so we have equal farms he he'll get one extra banana per round because plantation gives seven republic gives uh re republic gives 15 so he's gonna get one extra per round but i'd say at the moment with that eco we have like 100 or 200 more eco than he does um so i'd say we are outplaying especially with all of those since he sold all his farms lost 20 percent Bought a Jitsu, sold a Jitsu, lost 20% of 5k, so he's probably down around 2k right now. Like, 2k in terms of eco. We have equal boost too. I, I go for my bank here, try to beta rush, because if we beta rush, we win. So, bro sends the balloon burger at me, which is a pretty effective rush, because he understands about the trap spasmin. Spasmin. Spasmin? Is, is that a word? Spasmin? Spasmin. I don't know. But spasm with an ING is, is, is what I like to call it. And now we have no boosts, but we have heli, so it's fine. And I'm not really planning on going late game anyway. Although, at this point, I did picture a scenario where where he would have... 
where we where we we would send him a semi god, then he would all out counter BFBs, and I would die because I, because I didn't have a boost. So we layer in a small rush with the AI, which does absolutely nothing because I was too busy uh, trying to trying to defend my side. And he sends me a Moab, and I almost die, but my downdraft clutches up. Downdraft indeed clutches up, and now I want to go for my BIA here, but the problem is. Yeah, BIA hardly generates any money at, at the start because it has no money like BIA thrives on on interest so what my plan is now is to is the is the wait first of all because well I have no boost and round 20 BFBs are out right so I I I I, 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 I what am I saying I delay upgrading to my BIA right now and since I'm expecting a BFB, which will destroy his ego, but eh, it's worth something. And my BFB defend is two rotors and two downdrafts. Two rotors isn't necessary, isn't always necessary. It depends if he if he sends me anything underneath. And he is. He is sending me some camo leads, and I go for my BIA here while I am while I am defending the rush, which was insanely risky, but, you know, we thrive on risk. Um, he, he, he has no eco, he has no factory, and we have, like, 10k in terms of defense right now. Round 22, I'm thinking, do I go for a double trap? Is it really worth it? Because round 23, I'm not going to get any trap money then, and it's really long, so I'm like, if he sends me any layer in, I will, but if he doesn't, I won't. And round 22 is also coming up, which which, which uh, gives me lots of crates. So I sell my BIA here. It's a really smart move because Eco isn't really important. We have enough Eco at this point. Even though he, even though he has even though he has one boost, his Eco is only like 300, 400. And round 23, and on round 23, we'll be able to pull off a massive out farm. And if he counters me, I'm not really confident that I can I can defend but an Apache an overclocked Apache is basically two Apaches. So I thought I can probably do it. So I don't rush immediately at the start of round twenty six I mean at the start of round twenty three because otherwise my my one K eco won't be that good. But near the end of round twenty three I do send him a COMG because like, I have earned most of my eco back, and it's only 400 eco gone. And he is going to have to sell every farm here, because you need 6 jitsus, aka $3,000 worth, I mean, $30,000 worth of defense. Whereas, for my strategy, all I need is an Apache plus overclock, which is like 25000 but it's a lot smoother. And then it turns out, bro, he has also, he has also sent me a COMG. Now, even if I didn't send him a COMG, send him... Heli from NG as oh my god is 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 never the play because the defense is just really really easy. By the way, w w when I said to defend the oh my god you need thirty thousand dollars, that's not even including Sabo. You, you need thirty thousand plus Sabo, which is like forty thousand. So he is gonna have to sell his factory for sure. We just overclock it, spam some helis, and we are pretty much good. I just spam some downdrafts since I was scared, but it's really not necessary. I mean, if I had a boost, I'll, I don't really need much, but I panicked since I forgot to press my trap. And as you can see, bro has absolutely no farms. And he also has no eco either because he had 400 eco earlier, then sending me a oh my god killed it. And now we have two factories and he has no factory so he starts countering with a bfb which is it's, it's a bit strange so he has no trap at the front and he is gonna die so this is how you win with heli from ng it's it, it's not meta but it's pretty easy to play with anyway guys that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye